Good morning and welcome to Kerry's Full Breakfast. It is uh, Thursday, it is the 15th of August and we're live. Um, so I'm still on my own this week, Elaine is still off. Uh, it's been a really busy week actually, uh, but you'd miss around the place like, you'd miss somebody to make the old bit of coffee or whatever, you know what I mean? Uh, not that that would ever happen, it's 2019, let's get over yourselves. Uh, on a serious note, good morning though, it's uh, another grey dull morning, it's dry though and it's not cold which is good. Uh, and it should remain mainly dry across the county later on. A um, few bits of sunny spells will break through. There will also be the odd scattered shower as well. And temperatures today of about 19 or 20 degrees. All right, so not too bad out there this morning. Uh, Paper-wise, what we're waking up to this morning, the Irish Daily Mail says, uh, Holiday chaos as Ryanair pilots announce strike is the main headline there. Thousands of passengers face travel misery from next week after Ryanair pilots de uh, declare a two-day strike for more uh, money and better working conditions. And families agonising wait for answers. Nora Quarren's um, post-mortem was delayed and she makes the front pages of some of the papers there this morning as well. The Irish Examiner says Trump's trade wars point to recession. Uh, global markets appear to have called time on dangerous game of hardball between US President Donald Trump uh, and China as uh, a plunge in shares, government bond yields and the price of oil uh, signalled his trade wars could lead to another worldwide recession, which is all we need. And the same story there out of Malaysia. Wait continues for Nora's family as her parents should finally be given the post-mortem results today, which will tell them exactly how their daughter died. Very sad. Same from the Irish Independent. Mystery over Nora's death goes on as family wait for post-mortem answer. And um, now this is specifically to do with uh, the Kilkenny tip game, but Kerry and Dublin will also be kind of jumped in with this as well for the All-Irelands because GAA are warning ticket scam ahead of the two All-Ireland finals. They're saying that the, 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 the scam is involving emails being circulated purporting to be corporate facilities for the Kilkenny, Dublin, uh, the Kilkenny tip game and the Kerry Dublin game. So uh, if you get an email promising you a corporate box for very good money, then it's probably a scam, lads. Um, the using a company address in London, the well-designed order form invites interested parties to purchase 18 tickets at a cost of two and a half grand. Uh, so, yeah, that's uh, on the front page of the Irish Independent this morning. And the Mirror then talks about the attempted ATM robbery in County Cavan, where footage shows Gardaí chasing the suspect of the robbery. Uh, they'd been in regular contact with the PSNI and had an intelligence operation in place and pounced at half two in the morning. Uh, three men were arrested and up to €300,000 in cash was seized on Wednesday during a major breakthrough in the spate of ATM robberies. That's in the mirror this morning and more on Ryanair, by the way. Passenger face travel chaos with, uh, with pilots to walk out for two days. That's also there as well. Uh, some of the top trends that we're waking up to this morning. Liverpool and Chelsea are trending. In fact, all of the top trends in Ireland right now are all to do with the Super Cup last night between Liverpool and Chelsea in Istanbul. Uh, Liverpool won it on penalties 5-4 after a two-all draw after extra time. And Adrian, Adrian, the um, new keeper who's been, uh, essentially he's been kind of promoted to number one because Alisson got injured. Well, uh, he was the hero last night. He made a couple of great saves throughout the game. He did give away a penalty in the actual game itself, but that was controversial in itself because uh, some of the camera angles didn't actually show conclusively whether there was... Um, Con uh, uh, contact or not but VAR apparently proved it anyway he saved the penalty in the end and Liverpool won it David Goff is also trending this morning uh, so after all the talk yesterday on Kerry today in particular with Jerry and, and people giving their opinions on him uh, refereeing the Kerry Dublin game he's now been confirmed as the All-Ireland final referee between Kerry and Dublin and leaving starts is also trending this morning because inside some of those papers I just read out to you, the CAO offers are inside today with the Irish Times um, advising students to take their time and uh, go over their offers carefully. Uh, so CAO offers are out today, which is kind of nice because normally it was about a week after the results, whereas now it's just two days. So uh, that's in the one of the top trends well this morning. Um, now, a couple of weeks back on the show, Elaine and I spoke about how much time children are spending on smartphones and on the internet and so on and so forth. Well, we've got the adult version of it now. The average adult spends, wait for it, three hours and 25 minutes per day on their phone and 52 minutes of that combined is just done on social media alone, which is quite a lot of time. Now, I, I, I do understand that I get it because, I mean, I use my phone for work all the time, so I constantly have my phone in my hand or I do use social media obviously as well I mean, we're on Facebook Live right now I'm using a phone for this uh, so I do get it there are times when you're just going to be on it but then I found myself yesterday at home and I'm guilty of this all the time 
phone be sitting down and the next thing you know the phone's there and out of nowhere you're just going to pick it up scroll put it down oh hang on did i check that pick it up scroll like i'm a terror for it so I'm, i imagine like that's the average there's definitely people who are doing way more mileage if you like and uh, speaking of that they, they also have um, come up with the um, amount of time that we spend watching tv and apparently the average tv fan spends seventy eight thousand seven hundred and five hours watching their favorite tv shows films and box sets that's over the course of their entire lifetime by the way that's a lot coming up on the show this morning i have received loads more entries for our Kerry's for breakfast and Lee Strand lunch boxes so we're going to pick out five more people on the show this morning to win our exclusive lunch box that's happening we've also got 280 euro on who's for breakfast so that's also coming up on the show this morning with thanks to Moriarty Centra and Central Car Sales and Farm 4 and we've got four more tickets to go to the big 80s night in the Rose of Tralee Dome on the 24th of August so that and more happening join me from 7 to 9 this morning Give us a text or on 083 300 300 or leave a comment here and we'll give you a shout out on the radio. All right, I better go and get cracking because we're going to go live and I must get coffee. So have a good day and enjoy. Good luck.